everybody, Yelsa from here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Lone Oak and we need to do some cleaning on the logged area so to speak. So I'm in a new vehicle which I haven't tried before. I've heard about it, I've seen it but I never used it. And it was expensive to lease, but anyway, hopefully it will pay off, or at least go break even. So, let's see, it's this one. The Frankenstein John Deere. And this is supposed to do logs pretty good. So let's see... Whoa! Whoa, it's a bit very fast and sensitive. L1 and R1 maybe on this one. Yeah. And I think this one also have tension belts. Yes. Not that good to see, but there are tension belts there. So, let's try this. Hey, hey, hey. This is big. <laughs> oh, can I take all of that? Seems a little bit much, or... Okay. Let's try and grab it there. Whoa. And now put on the tension belt. Bam. not even but anyway I'll take it and I also leased myself the biggest trailer I have in my mod hub so let's try to do like so maybe Uh, let's take off the tension belts oh. and uh, let go. Oh, yeah, maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I'm going backwards now. And now I'm going now I'm going backwards. Anywho. Whoa whoa whoa, it's really gentle. Swing around right direction. So, yeah, this will definitely whoa, clear out the area a little bit faster than with the big bag lifter. need to learn myself the controls there we go maybe try to put it there oh 
He didn't like that. I tried to open it before the tension belts. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, okay. Whew. But it's always nice to try something new. So yeah, I also tried to start on another map, the South Brazilian map. Uh, I did one episode here in the weekend. Um, I kind of like, kind of liked it, but uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, the hydraulics on this one is aggressive. Uh, yeah, but I don't know for sure if I'm gonna do a continuous. Uh, no, wrong way. Ah, come on. Can't do two things at a time. Fasten the tension belts. Rotate it. Ah, okay. There we go. Grab it on without the tension belts, I think. But now I'm gonna lose them. Yeah, I cannot do it like so. Let's put them gently down here. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I think this is going to take a while anyway. Oh, no, I don't want that one. Okay, we're gonna try it gently. They are all going to slide out, I guess. Maybe let's try it there. And now let's jump in this one and take the tension belts on. There we go. So I'll be cracking on with this one and uh, I'll see you in a bit I guess once I've done maybe one or two loads and we can start to plow up this field ah, let that camera 
didn't work. Here we are. Uh, the price on wood chips now is only 276. I think last winter it was around 350, and I got about 30,000 for one load. So let's see now. 44. So it's definitely bigger this one than the. Uh, let's see. It takes more this one, 44 plus 10, 54,000. Nice. Yeah, I, in the end of last winter, I used the versatile trailer, which is also really good. I see when I'm using this one, I'm getting a little bit more in it because it has uh, higher beams and it's a little bit longer. I think maybe to next winter logging season I might cut the trees in 10 or 11 meter lengths because with 8 meter lengths you get this uneven loading either way how good you are loading it so yeah I'll continue on with my logging and yeah, uh, we need to get something into the ground. It's first day of spring and I haven't decided yet what to put in the ground. I also need to cut some grass because I'm getting out of uh, hay. So this field here I will make... I will yeah, mow it, ted it. Oh no, I don't need to ted it. I can only wait for it to dry. Just need to watch out for the weather forecast, I think. And yeah, and I also have a lot of milk now. I have over 100,000 liter of milk. So I need to get myself, uh, I am wondering to buy myself a semi truck now, which I also can use for, uh, yeah, for uh, my milk, but also my, where am I going? Uh, I don't know, not here. I'll put it over here, I guess. Yeah, for my milk. And also for the next harvest, I need a bigger trailer. One of the 100,000 liter trailers. So, yeah, but this machine here was pretty cool. It's really powerful. The hydraulics are very sensitive. Um, I haven't found a really good way of doing it yet. I'm trying to line up as much as possible in the middle of the pile. I cannot take hold that pile. Line up the grab like so. Open it up. Whoa. 
maybe half of it. Lift it a little bit, get it closer, and then put on the tension belts. There we go. And I parked the trailer a little bit, not on the line, but anywho. So if I put these ones all the way in the front, cannot get another load in the back so next year oh whoa I need to do either 10 meter logs or like six meter logs I think I think the the longer the better let's try to get this one in Just drop it there. Push it all the way. Whoa! It's so powerful. It's <laughs> okay. Tension belts off. Grabs open. And I'm stuck. Okay. Why am I stuck? Tension belts on. Oh, there we go. Forgot to loosen the tension belts. The only thing it's missing is one of these shovels in the front, which you can push. Maybe grab on, lift up, ooh, lift up, tension belts on. Don't open, don't open. <laughs> oh, you know, with the PlayStation <laughs> controller, it's so easy to open instead of twisting it because that's up and down. Ay, ay, ay. Now it's a mess already. Open. Oh my God. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah,
Okay, already a mess, but anyway, maybe I can fix it a little bit with the big bag lifter. So, I had a little accident, of course, with my last load. I went a little bit too fast in this corner and the whole trailer tipped over. So if I cannot do it with this, uh, I doubt it, but anyway, let's try it. Then I need to maybe lease myself a wee loader. Leasing myself a reloader. Oh, there we go! <gasps> Come on! Oh, let go, let go! Drive forward. Oh, this vent! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This vent is just amazing. Okay. So now, John, there, let's take it easy. Last load, no rush. So after this, I'm going to go over to the shop and uh, I'm so afraid of the corners now. Mm. Yeah, we're going to go over to the shop. Let's put down the cruise control to 30 uh, and get ourselves a plow. Uh, I have one in my mind which I have used one time before which was pretty good and also off camera I had to lease the Lizard T-Rex one more time of course because when I cleared out all the logs I still had some stumps so to say uh, underneath there so I needed to clear out also those but now the field should be ready for plowing and we have made oh, a decent amount of money on this let's see everything Bam. of course 46,000 So, we can check it here actually, on the finances today, 230,000 and that's in spring season, so if I had done this during winter, I would have gotten more, but anyway, I'm pleased. I've spent a couple of days on doing this, but... Anyway, it hasn't been that much else to do. I've leased equipment for maybe... Yeah, 50, 60 maybe. The Ponce and the big Frankenstein. The T-Rex twice. 40, maybe 60,000. So that's a net profit of... 170,000 plus I got a bigger field is it worth it? I think so is it a lot of fiddling around with those small trees? yes it is for sure is the traffic here really fast? Oh, I'm doing 53 and this is like 6 ashes traffic 
anyway, I'll see you at the shop. So the nice thing about also season, usually when you go to trigger like this, you have to disconnect the thing that you're gonna customize or give back. But here on seasons, if you press L1 or R1, you can toggle between the different items. So now I want to return this one and. I want to return this one and then I'm going to go in and go into plows <coughs> and I am oh no I don't have it now uh, yay, yay. you know what I'm gonna go out of the game and download it because I used to use this one the lizard 6 meter but the one I used before, I think it's 7 meters and it's much faster and cheaper. So I need to save the game and get into the mud hub. So now let's try. No, I don't want there. Where? Oh, let's just jump in the shop here. Uh, let's see, plows, plows, plows. There we go. This one, the Riley Christie one, six me. Uh, it is six meters, same as this one. But this one will go twenty kilometers an hour. It's only eight thousand. It requires the same horsepower. So yeah, why don't go with this one? And since I have a John Deere, maybe we should go for John Deere Green. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy it because I also it's so cheap and yeah, I might use it also on one of my other fields. go so I'll see you back at my farm so uh, this is the big moment I think I want to just take a last smoothing out here where I pulled out those last stubs bigger bigger think maybe it's okay because once I plowed I think it's too late to do this kind of work and then I might put up a line a guiding line so to speak <laughs> Uh, let's see if we go like so and we go into painting uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah let's try here so we're plowing straight over here maybe into that field maybe like so I could also take this area but I might use a t-rex to clear out a little bit there maybe put up a sheep pasture so let's try out this bad boy here so I need my menu I think 
and this one yeah I'm gonna save the game now so <laughs> maybe I could go back if something really bad happens so uh, allow create field lower plow and I'm just gonna put on cruise control and away we go don't want to have two tight corners but I think this should work somehow so let's see how that went yeah the cows are <laughs> agreeing they are happy so now it's just a matter of plowing up the rest I could go and lease myself a bigger plow, but I think this should do it. It's gonna take a hot minute, but anywho. Away we go. This one deserves a break now. <laughs> so I'm finished with the plowing and now it's time to get something into the ground and I have decided to buy myself a new cedar. Bum, bum, bum. It's here I think. This one. The Condor 15001. Uh, yeah, 15 meter cultivating, seeding and fertilizing. This is really nice. I might get two of them uh, when I got a big enough tractor number two or number three. So, you know this what I do here, maybe I, I said it earlier also, but this what you're doing here you're resetting it to your farm seems a little bit cheaty but i looked on tom pemberton at his farm the other day he's a uk farmer really funny guy <laughs> Uh, and he a couple of weeks ago he got himself a new case tractor and the dealer actually showed up at his place uh, with the new case tractor so I don't think it's that unrealistic so we need some seeds and also we need to check what is the bet best to put in the ground now with the rotation planner I think Oh, now I need to do, let give me a second here. So, yep, yeah, I just had to open the door. You know, it's typically, at least here in Norway, uh, when it's closing to Christmas time, 
all of these charity organizations are running around to the doors and trying to get new members uh, and yeah you feel a little bit bad when you have to say no or you're saying no but I am uh, what do you say sponsoring a kid a boy in Uganda for the last 15 or 16 years I think he's like 20 years old now or something I paid about uh, yeah, 20 dollar every month for 15 years on that kid and it made him into school and he's playing football and so on so I don't have so bad conscience conscience afterwards saying no to these people anyhow let's see what did I have here cyst previous oil seed uh, I had canola here yeah canola so let's jump in this one uh, on this so let's see what should I get now wheat and barley are good oat corn barley or corn wheat barley oat or corn okay is it seasoned for wheat barley yeah corn no I have to wait two days so do, 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 do. I think I'm gonna go with oat that's the most profitable I think Wheat barley oat. What? No. What did I say? Wheat but I said oat. But soya beans are the one they uh, usually do. Um, why can't I do soya beans now? Uh, soya beans, I have to wait two days. I really want to do it now, even though it doesn't... Wait a minute, is it white? No, it's too cold! Oh man! The numbers, the temperature on the left needs to be white! Ah, okay, so I need to wait until noon! Then it's 5 degrees, so I'll just fast forward a little bit and hopefully <laughs> we can do some seeding. Now, I am a little bit puzzled here. Uh, you see the temperature is 8 degrees now. I fast forward all the way to 1500. 8 degrees. Oh and still the numbers are blue for putting in oats and it only demands six degrees here on the forecast is saying eight degrees so oh, i don't know what does this star trek things do Canola, nitten percent. So, uh, the, it should be dry. It should be hot enough. But why is not this one showing? Even though grass, was it the opposite that it needs to be blue? You know what? I'm gonna do it. All the numbers are there. Correct. Uh, could be <laughs> disaster this one, but anyway, I'm gonna do it. I'm putting in oat in my new field. And all 
also I'm gonna do a couple of headlets there and I'm gonna show you the other field which I'm gonna oh a little bit bumpy there uh, yeah the other field which I'm going to plow together and make another big field I got one viewer that tipped me or told me that planting trees well it's gonna take a hot minute for them to grow I think when you planting trees uh, outside season it's taking about 10 days 10 in-game days before they are fully grown let me see on the comment here yeah he says that uh, it takes two years to get them to a stage where you can harvest them then they are like grow stage two or three or something but for the trees to be fully grown in seasons it's taking five years <laughs> okay I'm glad I didn't put trees all over that field so yeah so I'll see you in a bit and we are most likely closing out with me plowing out another big field I'm gonna plow these two together I think uh, I need my bowl there we go so there were one tree here and I just cut it down with the t-rex and now if I just plow in between here I got one big field here also and these trees here are not growing at all but maybe I can da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm gonna plow in between and I'm gonna cut the grass here which maybe I can and get the hay out of it and then I'll put in some crops I think so here it's not that important with the lines I think I'll just continue it up here allow create fields slower plow maybe around up here there are some fences uh, I think we are right like so maybe you see at least downhill this fence no problem with pulling this plow hopefully it will also do it upwards uphill but yeah now I got some really good decent sized fields so let's see where should I go here So, there we go. I think that would be it for today. Um, yeah. We did a whole lot of logging and cleaning out and made one. Or oh, we are making two big fields now. I'm a little bit skeptical to the seeding, which I'm actually doing now, because still the temperature is blue. I don't know we'll just have to see I have the money so I will survive another season but you know I want to have 
more equipment. I want bigger, well, at least one more big tractor, one more harvester. Hopefully some harvesting contracts will show up next season. Oh, now he's struggling a lot. Anyway, I'll thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this helpful or in somewhat interesting, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe to my channel if you want. If you are a subscriber, put on that notification bell so you get these notifications when I make a new video or mod review or map tour. Other than that, I'll thank you again for watching. Bye bye.